Tremlett. I'm the Group Asset Manager for Spectrum Housing Group. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about our Asian Adaption Service. I would leave the window open sometimes because I didn't want to get up and shut it and uh, or vice versa if I couldn't bother on a hot day to open it. I couldn't get into the bath and I couldn't get out of the bath and stand under the shower in the bath because my leg used to give away. Well, it still does. There was no rail out there and well, I'd just come out of the hospital and surely can only walk on one leg anyway. So. <laughs> And we couldn't, you know, we just couldn't manage it. We can cover a whole range of work within your property and outside. Now, this could include uh, for visually impaired uh, stair staircase applications or external lighting. We could put in sounder bells. Uh, we can put all sorts of grab rails in, handrails. Uh, both inside and outside the property, we can fit safety glass, we can look at uh, widening the door if you need it for um, a wheelchair or um, all sorts of window opening equipment, um, a whole range of different types of services that we can provide. I've had the bath taken out and a walk-in shower installed. No regrets at all. I, uh, I think I could recommend it to anybody. Everybody. <laughs> well, the, the steps and the rail, um, and a grab rail at the front door. Oh, it's made a lot of difference to me, because I can go in and out of the garden now quite easily. I've also got my kitchen door turned around so that the door doesn't open across the sink anymore so I can get a drink um, and I've got a stopcock in the kitchen which is converted into a little blue switch on the wall so that if I have a water leak I just have to press this blue button and all the water shuts off because the stopcock was very hard to find even for the professionals and I've also had an electronic back door put on um, and that's sort of one of the main doors into the block and it allows me to get in and out to the car park. If you'd like to have any application uh, in writing or by email uh, and advising the type of work that you're looking for. If you can describe the type of work that you, you require and if you've had a visit from an occupational therapist or a trained assessor then we would also like to see their report and recommendations. Contact your spectrum and ask them to if we could have a step, a step put in a proper one and they said yes. They came and did it, they just came and did it. Well I did go through the process of uh, going to the, the day hospital and going through the social services and what have you and they came around to assess me. They, if they think it's necessary and it's going to be some advantage to them, apply. I'm sure Spectrum would either say yay or nay, isn't that? We will cover all minor adaptations up to a value of £1,500 and maybe go up a little bit higher to three and a half thousand uh, depending on the type of work. It did cost me a penny, no. We get things like that completely free, yeah. The cost was nothing to me um, and the things that I've had are mine. I, I can keep them. <laughs> Anything over that amount, we would then uh, ask you to go down the Disabled Facilities Grant route um, through your occupational therapist. The adaptations in the flat, they were all done through just me requesting them through Western Challenge. And the staff are brilliant because as they're fitting them, they talk to you all the way, get you to test things out. But with the back door, it was a bit more complicated because it was something like £2,000 to fit. 
um, I had to go through the occupational therapist um, and all you need to do for that is to ring up your social services department at your local council and they will put you in touch with an occupational therapist who will come out and see you and they'll look at everything and they'll look at what you need. So what happens is she went and talked to Western Challenge. She then came, came back to me and said she had a form to fill in. You then get put in touch with somebody else at the council that deals with all the grants. They come and see you and have a chat. Then the grant goes through and then when they get the money, they notify Western Challenge or Spectrum as it is now and they'll get a contractor in to do the door. For the first year, the contractors look after it um, and then after that it's you know you just go through the normal repairs process but for the first year if you've got a problem which we had a couple you just ring the contractors and they'll come out so when you're given their card with their number on it don't lose it I learnt that one the hard way <laughs>
Thank you.